Hello viewers, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you'll be able to customize your blog and also add uh, widgets and other um, designs. Okay, this is actually a blog I've created for such a purpose. Okay, showing you how to um, design your blog. This is actually my personal blog, Busy Creativities, and uh, you can see I've added them. Um, um, a flag, a counter flag to track the number of visitors I have. I have uh, other widgets such on the block. I have this one and then the archive and the same read more posts and other things. So whilst you are in your dashboard, you click on templates and then you click on customize. So when you click on the customize button, you will be presented with a screen like this okay here is your page um, with all the posts inside the currently highlighted um, template is what you have chosen that is the simple so here you can have the option to choose any template that you want okay so let's change the template to the watermark you just click on it and then uh, you wait and then there you see the template has been designed for you okay automatically so you just um pick any template that you want and then when you are done with picking the picking the template you just come to the background and click the background you see this is like um the, the image this is actually the image of the background what you see here is an image okay you can just change it and then uh, you can just change it upload an image or use any of the images you see around here you just click on it it will appear, it will reflect here, and then uh, you save it. You see, and this any nice image you want, and you save it. I'm going to cancel it too. I'm going to do that. Oh, and then you come here, you align it however you want it to be. This is actually how to play around uh, the image. Um, and then make a like and change the colors, choose any color you want, and you know, it will appear. Right. Then you come to the width. Okay, of the, this is the width of the entire block. You can set to increase the width or de de decrease it. The sidebar it's only one, not only one sidebar. Okay, so you can set to also increase or decrease it. It will work fine. Now let's go to the layout itself. And then here you have the option to choose any type of this is the current layout you have. I don't even want um side links at both of the both sides of the page and set to choose um either this one and choose this one um my page is loading so let's go you see you, you have one side link you have one sidebar here two here and then you have um horizontal one here okay so you set to change and you have to change any of the um and change any So you can set to uh, uh, choose any of the, the the templates, the body layer that you want. Okay, and see that it has reflected. So that's how it is. Okay, you have the header, the pages. You have other side side bars here, another side bar here. All right. So you can set to apply it after you apply it to your blog. You apply it to your blog. Template apply, and then if you want to go to the template, see that has changed. Now right, you see, so here, I'm going to place widgets here, and set to place widgets here. And now, so choose the template according to your, your choice, and then when you go to the advanced tab, this way you can do a lot of things here. You can do a lot of things here. Then categorize. You have the page text, the background, the links, and everything. As you mean, we want to um, change the page title. This is actually the page title. I don't know. Let me see if I have the page title. Yeah, I have the page title. See, it has been highlighted. You just have to change the font anyhow you want it. Move to this. I am, I like style. So let me choose a very nice style. Uh oh, what's happening? Uh, oh, all oh, my stuff are vanishing. They are scared of me. Okay. 
Yeah. My link is slow, that's why. Cops. Mm. Okay. So let me choose this one. Let me show you guys. Okay. And then, um, yeah. That's it. So you, increase, you can just increase the size. 960, you can set the 70. And you play around it, you can just change the color of the title. Give it any color you want. Come to the block des description. I don't have any description now, so it's not gonna work. Then you come to the tab text. These are the tab text that you can set to apply any. Thing. So you play around it and then know what city the tab. You play around it and know what is the city. You have the date, uh, the post uh, itself, the, the photo. You go yeah, and everything. The gadgets that you place. You choose everything and you change whatever you want. So basically, this is how to play around it and customize your, your blog. After that, you just click apply, and everything will be applied. And click apply. And you go to view blog. You go and see what we have done. What the mess of people. <laughs> right. After that, you just um, go to back to blogger. Not the blogger. Uh -huh. This is the page I've created for myself. This is the design I When I come back to my blog, I want to show you something. The last thing. Go to the layout. I'm going to show you how to place gadgets on your, on your blog. Okay, so. This is the design of this is the template. Okay, you have the fabric one, and here you can the fabric one. You can see this blog I've created. I have changed the blogger icon to to my own design. This is called a fabric one. So if you have any picture, any logo you want to use, click edit. Then choose the file from the computer and then save it. The, the file should be square. It should be an, a square image, and it shouldn't be more than 100 kilobytes and uh, when you come to the add of the gadgets just click on the add the gadgets and look for um, a host of gadgets we have the basic one we have the more gadgets the basic one you can choose any gadget that you want okay um i want block stats so you just add and i wait and I want to know the number of views that I have. This is the default. Um, you can just choose any of the ones you want. Don't choose this one. Then I click on save. And then it has been added to my blog. Now save, you click on save arrangements. And then you, you, preview. you can either preview or view the blog. I like to view it live. I want to see the number of views I have. Oh, I only have 36 page views. That is my own views because this blog is actually not public. All right. So that's how to add the gadget. And you can set to place this gadget anywhere you want. You can set to move it up. Um, I mean up. Yeah, up. You can set to even move it here. Yeah, it can move. Don't tell me that you are not moving. You have to move. Uh oh. I don't think. You don't move. Yeah, it, it is the same one, this one. Alright, so add a, add a gadget. And then look for the gadget that you want. And then you add it. More gadgets. You can click on the more gadgets here and have a lot of gadgets. If you don't uh, if you don't like any of the gadgets on the first screen, you can go to next. And then you have a post of them. Virtually 8 and 7 to 1. And then to add your own gadgets, right? And then wherever you do, okay. That's all.